Welcome back to the course. In this chapter, we will talk about resources. As you already know, to get a resource into Notch, all it takes is just drag and drop it to the resource browser. Of course, you can go for the import resource panel and choose the specifics, but for the most part, drag and drop is the perfect solution here. So we've spoke a tiniest bit about inspector in the UI chapter. So this is a perfect time to bring it to attention. Here we can preview all of the resources that are pulled to the resource panel. And we can work a little bit with them before we commit them to the node graph. For instance, this video file, we can choose if we want to embed it into the DFX file or keep the file external. We can choose different color spaces, set the scaling, flip it and rotate it, even play it back and trim the start or the end if we choose so. This panel is useful not only for videos and stills. It's actually very useful for 3D models too. So if you have a specific 3D simulation or 3D model that you want to double check, this is a great place to do that. So you get several options to flatten the scene if it consists of many elements. You can set a desired scale factor, flip it, rotate it, and of course you get a whole list of all of the technical details about the resource that you're about to use. Furthermore, you can interact with the model here in this small viewport as well. So with that said, let's come back to the Create tab and let's talk about most common 3D formats. So Notch supports OBJ format, which is very self-explanatory and the simplest of all, so we will not spend much time on it. But let's just move on to the Cinema 4D format. So if you're bringing in C4D file, you can expect UVs and color properties of materials to follow, plus Cinema 4D's native cameras and lights will come in as nulls. So you can actually use those coordinates or nulls with Notch local cameras and lights. Next up is FBX. FBX2 comes in as a 3D scene, so you will see that I can expand this. And in this case, one big benefit of FBX models is the fact that it carries the bone structure. So if you have an animated mesh that has bones, that's probably the best format to export it from another package and bring it into Notch. Further up, we have a ABC, so that's Alembic. If you want some very specific simulation that you build it out in some other package and you want to use it in Notch, that's probably the best format for you right there. While Alembic is rather big in size, it actually allows you to do way more than FBX or C4D. You can bring in even the most complicated simulation if it's baked in and saved in as ABC Alembic. And one more to bring up, it's uh, PLY. So this is just a point cloud. Uh, there might be reasons for you to need that. So it's there for you and it's available. Now I'll just highlight a couple of things about resources when they are in a resource panel. You will notice that the train that we were previewing comes in with a little triangle right here. That means we have a 3D scene and there are 3D objects inside of it. So I can choose to pull in the whole scene. Or I can choose to grab the inner node, which will be then just geometry. Here's another handy tip. If you're accustomed to working with kit bashes, you can bring that to the resources. And if you grab the whole set of kit bash and you just bring it to the node graph, it will come in as this pile of nodes, which perhaps is useful for some cases. But in most cases, I would suggest to open up the scene and grab the inner node. Once you do that, in the newly made node, you will be able to choose layer index. And then you can call out specific geometry from that list. So this makes life very easy if you're building out a big scene and you have a lot of assets that you want to use from one C4D or FBX or Alembic file. Now, in my case, all of the elements are zeroed out in the center of the world. That is how I've prepared it and saved it in Cinema 4D. However, if yours is not and you need to change the pivot point, that's not a problem as well. You can go for the pivot point and choose the center or set a custom one if you choose so directly here in Notch. So with that said, I think we're ready to talk about export. So see you in the next chapter where we do exactly that.